Washington quarterback Ryan Fitzpatrick is expected to miss six to eight weeks and for now, avoid surgery, people familiar with the situation told the Washington Post. The 16-year veteran subluxed, or partially dislocated, his right hip in last Sunday's season opening loss to the Chargers and was later placed on injured reserve. On Monday, coach Ron Rivera told reporters that Fitzpatrick was expected to get a second doctor's opinion and then decide his next steps. For such injuries, recovery is typically dependent on whether there is any damage to surrounding bone or soft tissue. The hip is a very stable joint, so for a hip to get, fully, dislocated, usually that would create an injury to the bone or an injury to the labrum or both. A subluxation is not quite as severe, said Brian Schultz, a sports medicine specialist and orthopedic surgeon at Cedars Sinai Curlin Job Institute in Los Angeles. If there's no soft tissue injury, then it would just be rest, rehab, and he wouldn't have to do much else. Washington has a buy-in A. In Fitzpatrick's absence, Washington has turned to Taylor Heineck, a seventh-year quarterback who started the team's wild-guard playoff loss against the Buccaneers in January and closed out its loss to the Chargers last Sunday. Heineck started Thursday night against the Giants, with Kyle Allen as his backup. COVID after effects Panthers offensive lineman John Miller spent last Sunday watching his team's opener against the Jets from his bed, still recovering from COVID-19 symptoms. He's hoping to get back on the field for Sunday's game against the Saints, although he's not sure how much he'll be able to play because of lingering fatigue. He said if the game were today, he could probably play about two quarters at a high level. The six-foot-inch. 315-pound Miller said he was pretty bad with congestion, fatigue, and diarrhea for about four days, but gradually started to feel better. Still, he said it was pretty tough returning to practice on Wednesday, his first work in nearly two weeks. I did a little conditioning, and I was like, wow, my lung capacity is not what it used to be, Miller said. He said he felt a little better on Thursday. Miller said he contracted the coronavirus around Labor Day weekend. Because he was unvaccinated, he had to spend 10 days on the league's COVID-19 reserve list, forcing him to miss the Jets game, which the Panthers won, 19-14. He wouldn't say if he has been vaccinated since or if he plans to be in the future, calling it a personal decision. But, he added, it's COVID and it's out there and it's real. It has been affecting every one of us. Miller said the biggest thing the battle with COVID-19 taught him was patience. I had a lot of time to just think and reflect about a lot of things, he said.